the Domestic uh, Workers Bill of Rights was passed in 2013. How has that affected you and how has that, how has that affected your company? In order to do good care, the client needs 12 hours a day minimum right. or a living. Now it's unaffordable because they have the overtime rules. They're saying to you, Jody, it's getting too expensive for me. Your clients are saying that to you. Yes, and yeah. their children are deciding to send them to some convalescent or something right. against their wishes. That's very upsetting. I hear your concern for the client. What is your concern for your employee? The people who do live-ins want to live in because they have free room and board. Mm -hmm. And they send their money back to their country mm -hmm whether it's the Philippines, Belize, or Uganda, wherever. Right. Others who do 12-hour shifts, they have families with children. So they want the 12-hour shift as well. Why can't they still work 12 hours? Because, because of the overtime. Because we have to pay the caregivers. Because she has to pay the caregivers. Jody doesn't think that the domestic workers shouldn't work 12 and 24 hour days. She just thinks they shouldn't be paid overtime for the extra hours. Here's the disconnect for me. Because you have such great professionals who you admire and respect and I can oh. tell, why wouldn't you as an employer want to say, my agency is going to support the bill that so many people are supporting because what I'm doing is I'm trying to give my employees a way to make more money. But you have to look at the other side. Mm -hmm. Who's paying it? Mm -hmm. It's not me paying it. Right. The client is paying it. Yeah. I can only raise the client so much. Right. It They're, does affect business. Right. It makes these people go underground right. to these agencies that have these Illegals. Right? You're saying if they can't afford me, they're not going to use me. So it's, about, it's about it's about money for you, Jody. Right? It's about money for my clients. Right. And it is the business of the future. I will get more clients and more clients and more clients. I have no doubt. The point is, these people need help, and these people should have help, proper help. It's tough being a person that needs help. That's the thing. Whether it be a vulnerable elderly patient or whether it be a domestic worker. We need to protect them and take care of them. We need, we to, need give to give them good care. Everyone. That's right.